one of the greatest and most important collections here at the Berg is the personal and literary papers of the writer Virginia Woolf. She's most famous for novels like To the Lighthouse and Mrs. Dalloway and A Room of One's Own, all published in the 1920s. Her most experimental work of fiction, The Waves, published in 1931, is the manuscript that we are looking at here today. Virginia Woolf drafted this book in these seven notebooks here. They are all unique with different covers, really beautiful. She would either buy blank notebooks and then recover them sometimes, or actually bind her own notebooks here. Um, and so that's what we're looking at. They're all these you know, beautiful, unique covers, these really vibrant details. When you open it up, you see that she has these blank pages. She would take the, the blank pages and use a, a ruler and make a margin for herself. And then she would draft the, the text all on the right-hand side of the margin. And you get a sense of how quickly she's writing often um, because her handwriting, which is not very good, starts to kind of like slant up towards the, the top corner of the page. And then in the, in the left-hand margin, in the margin that she left for herself, she would go back sometimes and add little notes um, or edits or reminders for herself. She goes back and she crosses things out, she redrafts. This is a book that she worked on for a couple of years, and at the very front of the book, um, you see where she's like thinking about different, different titles for the book, and she dates it 1929. And that's one of the things that's so great about um, you know, a series of notebooks like this that includes like the whole draft of a novel. You really get a sense of the creative process that the author is working towards. Um, so we see you know, the, the, the genesis of this great work of literature as she's working through it all in these, in these notebooks here. And the covers for these books, um, which are very iconic, they're instantly recognizable. And what I love about these notebooks these notebooks have been sitting in the archive for decades and decades and decades, seen by researchers, seen by scholars, um, but they are so beautiful and the thought of them being um, out in the world, just as Virginia Woolf used them and becoming iconic in their own right, I think is, is really great.